Hey everybody, it's Nikki Febs. This video was a part of the moving vlog part one and I decided that it would be too long. I think I said this in the video, but this is just like a little brief intro on the chit chat get ready with me. It's gonna kind of jump a bit randomly, but this was just something I filmed where I was getting ready and I just started talking all this random stuff and I thought I'd make it into its own vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on all my social medias at Nikki Febs, N-I-K-K-I-E-F-E-V-S, and enjoy the video, thanks. Alrighty, everybody, it has been a full 24 hours since last time you saw me. My camera died while we were moving and then I had to go to work a couple hours later so I just let it charge. Um, Basically, the movers weren't here that long. They said between seven and nine. I'm gonna jade roll my face while I talk to you guys just because I'm getting ready to film. Um, they said seven and nine. They showed up at like 8.30. They would have been there earlier, but they got lost. They literally drove right past me. And I said to Karen, who was on FaceTime with me, I said, watch that be my movers. They And like, not only did they drive past me, my garage door was wide open with a bunch of moving boxes in it, in front of it. So then when they drove past again, I had to like flag them down and then he was like, sorry, we got lost. And I was like, oh yeah, I saw you guys drive by earlier. I, I was surprised you didn't notice all the moving boxes in the garage. He was like, yeah, we did. We thought maybe you, you, it was you, whatever. It was a whole thing. They finally left. The longest part was like doing the money because they told me I owe way more than the estimate and I'm like annoyed about it. But then I just got ready for work, looking around like a lost chicken because I don't know what makeup to do. Um, I don't really want to put any on if I'm being honest, but I'm filming, so might as well just do a quick powder ting and maybe some mascara. Brush out the eyebrows. Um, but yeah, so that was the rest of the day. All my stuff is gone. I just have like the stuff that I'm gonna take in my car with me for when I go. I know why I'm sing-songing absolutely everything. But yeah, I'm very excited. Um, it still really hasn't sunk in even though I watched them load up all my stuff. Like, I don't think it's fully gonna sink in until I'm in my apartment. My bed is put together. Everything is like unpacked and organized and like I have a kitchen and full groceries. Like, I don't think it's gonna sink in until that moment. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah. I did it and I'm here. And I want everyone to feel like that. That's such a good feeling, you know? Like, it's just such a good feeling. These vlogs are always so long, so thank you guys for sticking with them. Honestly, they're, co they're over the course of like two weeks because I'll film like, I'll get so excited to film a vlog idea I start it right then and there, but like the vlog, like I started this vlog a week before the movers were coming. I was just so excited. It looks like I've been punched in the face. All right, well. <sighs> Let's blush it up. I don't know how I feel about these little, um, Winnie the Pooh ears, I'm gonna call them, cause I feel like a bear in them. But uh, I'm gonna curl my hair and I'm gonna see the final outcome. Cause this is not curly. This is just uh, slept in in a bun. Also, I've been doing the nose thing before everybody else. Thank you very much. It was not an e-girl thing. It was a warming up your face trick that only certain makeup artists was used. And they wouldn't coat your nose in it. They'd literally do what I just did, which was one, two, three. Cause your nose, if you don't contour it, if you don't need to contour it, if you don't want to contour it, if you've done your makeup, it looks very awkward and flat, and that helps bring some dimension back to it. Oh yeah, she wanted to be a beauty guru. She used to have a beauty channel, been deleted since, so please don't go looking for it. Where's my... This is the problem. I have all the time. Ah, there you are. I can never find brushes. So I'm not actually gonna do my eyebrows. Let me see if I can take you closer so you can just watch this. I just, um, lighting's terrible, but I just 
brush them out and then just follow the shape that I'm trying to do. And I haven't let anyone touch my eyebrows. Like I haven't let professionals touch my eyebrows in 12 years. I haven't let anyone touch my eyebrows since summer 2017, since a girl I knew was like, can I do your eyebrows for you? And she actually made them look dope and I would love Helena for you to do my eyebrows again if you're watching. So please like hit a girl up, I'll, uh, I'll fly out because what are these? All right, let me put some eyeliner and mascara on. Um, do I really even want to put eyeliner on? Yeah, why not? I always take. I can always take an Insta and be cute. Who knows? I have the um, youngest girl, like the little, I call her baby girl. Um, Buster asked me when I was wearing eyeliner where it's supposed to go because it drip. It drips like this bottom part of my eye is so watery, like it's already dripping. So the eyeliner runs down these stupid lines that I have because I'm old. <laughs> Um, and when I told her it goes on your waterline and I showed her like where, she was like, oh my god, isn't that scary? And it's like, oh god, I remember being that, that, like that. I was like that much younger. I wanted to wear makeup right away. I was stealing my mom's mascara, putting a paper towel underneath my lash line and above my lash line and doing it because I didn't want it to get on my skin because I never knew how not to get it on my skin until I got older. Uh, yep. That pink and green mascara. And then I started really wanting to buy a lot of makeup when I was like 15 because I fully emerged myself into YouTube. And yeah, the rest was history. It was like tradition back then to um, be a YouTuber in like some specific field, like a beauty guru an online gamer, like something like that, and then start a vlog channel, like a second channel that was like more personal, and then like those actually became more popular for a lot of people, and it just happened that like, were more interested in my vlogs than my makeup, and like understandable, because my makeup was subpar, and I would do it like every six months. Continuity was a big thing. I don't even know if any of this is actually gonna go into the vlog. It's eight minutes. It's probably not gonna go in the vlog. But I'll keep it for another one. That's the trick, by the way. You hold the mirror to it angled, and you twist your head back, and then you won't open your eyes, your mouth as much, because you're like getting the perfect angle to see them and see them go up. They get clean, and we do it again. Me trying to act like I'm a professional makeup artist. I can't wait till y'all start giving me the respect I deserve and then I get like little video clips of like Nikki Fabs acting like she's better than everyone for five minutes. And I'm gonna be like, bitch, I think you mean eternity. <laughs> also, please stop comparing me to Trisha fucking Paytas. I got a mark on me, oh no. I'm canceled. I'll just quit now. I forgot I packed everything up, so I'm like opening drawers expecting there to be stuff. It's like, no, I have a little baggie now. It looks so pale. I know it's controversial to show this, but Now that I've just wasted 11 minutes lazily doing my makeup and talking to a camera, which 80% I'm gonna cut, let's do my hair. And then I'm gonna film. And all my stuff is gone. Ow, actually I look kinda cute. Alrighty everybody, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little chit chat get ready with me video. It was a part of the moving vlog part one, but it was just like 
when I put that clip in, it would made it like 40 minutes long and it was already long enough. So I was like, no, let me just separate it. Um, I'm kind of in a similar outfit, did a similar vibe to that to try to keep with the continuity. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new. Leave a comment down below. I always read the comments. I'm going to go ahead and go and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.